going on guys uh we got another new light this one is a massive juggernaut juggernaut style light uh it's the emolent i i hope a lot of people have been waiting for this light because i know i have i don't know much about the brand but it's got it's advertised to have 32,000 lumens 32,000 lumens so um, previously on this channel, obviously the highest output light we've had is the X80. They're very different lights. The X80 has 25,000 lumens, another juggernaut by, uh, by every means. It truly defines the term juggernaut. We love that light. Um, but this one's just different. So uh, I got my hands on this one. And uh, real briefly on a serious note, um, I picked up this particular light from Going Gear. And I just want to uh, make everybody aware of the fact that um, Going Gear is, is, is an amazing store, and their owner, Marshall, uh, had passed away recently, unfortunately. Um, so I don't have any details on it, uh, but I just want to extend my condolences to the Going Gear team, to their family as well. And uh, I've definitely, uh, my family and I have been keeping Marshall and his family uh, in our prayers, and I would hope that everyone would do the same if you would keep them in your thoughts and prayers. I know it would mean a great deal to them. Um, but uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. So... Uh, thank you for everything you've done to the industry, Marshall. Uh, if it wasn't for you, honestly, there would be far fewer flashaholics out there. Um, so thank you for everything. Uh, back to the light again. Um, this is, again, an Emilet DX80. And this light is in the box, even from the tag photo you guys saw of me being goofy. Um, I ha truly haven't taken this out this time. I have controlled myself. I've wanted to open it and play with it, but I've saved it for all of us. So forgive me, guys. It's going to take me a minute to figure out the user interface myself. Probably, I'm assuming, uh, but we're going to do this together. This is just an unboxing and an overview video. So it's not my opinion of the light or anything like that. It's just to uh, show what all comes in the box and show how it works. Um, so here we go. So on the front of the box here, I was looking at it. This kind of cracked me up. Um, this kind of random, but it has this little picture of this guy holding the light. And he's just aiming it at nothing. So I don't know why they would put that picture there. I wish they would have brought the, the beam down a little bit, but there's no tower or anything in the distance. Uh, it kind of had me cracking up because I just thought, man, for a light with 32,000 lumens, I would have loved to have seen that on something. Um, nothing serious, but if, if by any chance at all, Emilet ever grabs a, a hold of this video or any of the employees do, um, show us a real beam shot, please, of a, of a juggernaut like this. That would be awesome. Um, on the side here, uh, it just goes over the, the standard specs like you get on any light nowadays. And it's just a cardboard box, by the way, you guys. So um, I'm not going to focus too much on this. You guys, I don't know, maybe I'll get bored of seeing that. But there you go in the video. Uh, every other side is literally blank. So there's nothing anywhere else on the light uh, except for this little caution tag. The caution tag, it says, uh, please remove the, the protect sheet at the end of top <laughs> it's kind of fragmented in terms of English or fragment. It's a fragment. So <laughs> just read it yourselves. I can't read either, so I guess it doesn't bother me. Uh, but basically, it's saying that there's a little clear thing, like on the Claris lights, uh, where that separates the battery. So if unless until you take that off, the light's not going to turn on. So we'll have to remember that doing this. But going into it, let's open this bad boy up. By the way, this this box is heavy. I mean, this is not a light light. Not that it's supposed to be. That doesn't bother me at all. But that's the first thing I noticed when I picked it up. I was at Going Gear and I was like, hey, let me just make sure this is the right light. And I tried pulling on it and like it took some effort to even like turn the light so that I could do that. But maybe I just need to go to the gym more or something. So here we go. Look at this. Man. So th there is like a super thick piece of styrofoam. And um, that is everything in the box. It is completely empty here. We'll start with the obvious stuff first. Uh, this is the user manual, DXA the user manual. I'm probably actually going to need that here to show you guys uh, in a minute. Of course, one side's English, the other side's Chinese. The light is made in China. Uh, we've got a sheath here that looks like it's got the standard loop setting here. It's got a Velcro strap and it has a belt loop to run a belt through. I'm just trying to see how it opens. Looks twisted in a very complicated way that somebody like me probably gonna waste a lot of time in this video just trying to figure this out. I'm an idiot. Anyways, it comes with a sheath, but now I really want to figure this out. Hmm. Well, it comes with a sheath. 
Um, I'm going to set that aside for now. Can't figure it out. You got your spare O-rings. It's got two spare O-rings and a clear bag here. All right. And then we will remove. This is the first time I've touched the light. Ugh. Nice. It's got a little clear plastic foam um, over the light as well. If you can see that, like a little, not foam, I'm sorry, clear little reflect, reflective thing. Remove dust proof film from lens. So you can see the massive LEDs in there. They're all XHP70 LEDs, by the way. And it's got, let's see, two, four, six, eight, a total of eight, which is, I mean, that's a massive LED in the first place. So I imagine, obviously, this thing's going to get really, really bright. Um, just looking over it real quick for the first time, it looks like there's a charging port on one side of the light. Uh, it comes with an LED display that says mode on it on this side. I'm not sure if y'all can read that in the camera or not. Just, I mean, this is just the first things that I'm noticing on the light. I don't even know how to turn it on. Um, it's got this cool lanyard. This lanyard looks a lot like the lanyard that came on my TK75 Phoenix. So it looks a little braided at the top here. Plenty of room to hook it up to whatever you need to. Um, and then a recharger. This does have a proprietary uh, battery pack. So you will need this charger to uh, charge this light up or a charger like it. All right, so that is everything that comes in the box. Let me, uh, whoa, I guess I didn't have to move, remove the uh, clear plastic thing from the battery pack to get the light activated. Check this out. It just lit up saying, the, so both sides of the mode have lit up. I'm sure the color probably designates how much battery life is left. Um, and then, the, then you can see it just bumped up to 500 lumens. 1500 oh i'm so excited to get up there 5000 i know you guys can't see it i'm sorry i'm gonna make a separate beam shot video but it looks awesome 13,000. can't take it captain 120 hold on oh man what a bummer i don't know how to activate the turbo mode oh man ah oh, crap that's the second time i've been an idiot in this video dang it all right it's flashing check this out guys it's flashing with a low battery indicator sign, like no battery at all. So I'm definitely going to have to plug this thing up. So uh, there we go. I just held, I just held the, um, in a nutshell, let's see if it has enough battery to show you guys this. So uh, you hit where it says mode to turn the light on once. It displays what its current output is. Also, real quick, guys, it's at 500 lumens. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on. It does have mode memory. And then once the light's on, you just single press. That just burned my hand at 13,000. That is awesome. I, I love that. Um, and then you press and hold again for your off. So I'm going to double tap. Typically, that's how you get into turp maximum mode. I don't want to do it in my face, but um, let's, see if, if, let's see if it works. We'll bring the camera back this way, and maybe we'll all be able to see 32,000 display right here for the first time, if this works. But with the battery being low, guys, it, it might not come up. Let's see. Whoa, I don't even know what I just did there. Let's see. Showed the voltage. 32,000. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I'm going to single tap again. It will not go back, at least with the low battery, to 32,000 lumens from mode memory. Um, this light, guys, I, I was first thinking that the because the box was so heavy, the weight of the recharger and everything was really going to add to the weight of the box. But I'm telling you guys, this thing, the, all the weight is the light. I mean, this light has to be at least two or three pounds. I am, I am not joking. Um, it says here on the back of the light, battery pack MR B08. It's a 3.7 volt. And I believe it's got a, I think it's just a 418650 cell, I think, in there. But um, here is the size of the light. It's got a crenellated bezel on it, obviously. Guys, that's it. That's it for the unboxing. I'm sorry this was so rough. I was figuring out at the same time you guys were figuring out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to put this video up as soon as possible because I have been calling Going Gear for probably two to three weeks now, constantly harassing them to see if this light has come in. Um, and it finally has. So I wanted to get it to you guys as soon as I could. Uh, and also I wanted to go ahead and do the video of the unboxing as fast as I could so that I could play with it more before we post the Beam Shots video. So that was me being selfish. But here's the light, guys. Immolent DX80. 
Hopefully, within 24 hours, we're planning on posting the uh, beam shot, at least one beam shot video. But we've got a few ideas for this light that we, we hope that y'all are going to like. So thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, stay safe. God bless.